Man, am I glad that I ran six miles this morning so I could eat this. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who aren't in Los Angeles and aren't aware that we are currently in a heat wave. And so what I wanted to do was get some ice cream for my household. And what better way to do that than by supporting some small businesses here in the local Los Angeles area. So the business that I've decided to support today is Concha Creamery in Gardena. So a little bit information about them. Concha Creamery is James Tatsuya and Elaine Yukari's ice cream shop dedicated to the simple goodness of dessert and its remarkable ability to bring people together. Everything is handmade with the utmost TLC, tender love and care, by the brother and sister duo with ingredients coming from local organic farmers whenever possible. When a purchase is made, a percentage of sales go to charities around the world, connecting all sorts of people together with a single scoop of vanilla. Today is another perfect day for ice cream. And also kancha is the Japanese word for gratitude. So I love that they are not only trying to bring families together, but also they are trying to give back to the community by supporting uh, local farmers. I know they use some of the fresh fruits from the farmer's market in Torrance and then um, even donating some of that money back to charity. So all of the ice cream is in my freezer right now and I'm going to go bring it right here and you're gonna see just how much we really bought. As you can see here, we have our huge ice cream haul. There's about 12 pints here. Honestly, some of them are from a previous buy, 10 of them are from today, and some of them are some repeat flavors, but I thought I might try some on camera for you guys. So they have um, a set list of flavors that they have all the time, and then they have um, some seasonal slash weekly flavors that they change up every single week, depending on what's in season. So I've actually tried quite a few of their flavors, and we definitely have some favorites, um, but I'll show you exactly what they look like and what's in them, and let's Let's get started. So the first flavor we're going to try today is their AOI Premium Matcha Pints. So this is one of their classic flavors. They always have it in store um, or most of the time. And it's this beautiful green color like matcha should be. And I'm gonna try it. So good. So I have tried this flavor before. It's one of the consistent flavors we try to keep at our house. Um, but it is something just so classic, so fresh, and you can tell that the ingredients are really good and the quality is just great. The next pint we're going to try is the Mr. Universal pint. So this is one of their classics as well. It is a buttery caramel and oatmeal cookie pieces in milk ice cream. So this is actually my brother's favorite. So two of these three pints are actually his. Um, it is a staple that they have and it is just, it's so sweet, so good. It's a little bit sweet, but it's not too rich. I would say it's like if oatmeal cookie ice cream sandwich was in a pint and just made it convenient and it's like homemade so so fresh so good and I'm gonna cap it before I eat the rest of it moving on to some of their more irregular flavors that they just have d different ones every week so the one that made me truly want to go get it today is carrot cake. They just came out with it today and it is house-made carrot cake pieces and cream cheese frosting in milk ice cream. So I'm really excited to try this one. I have to make sure I know how to portion control this, otherwise I'm just going to gain all of this. That's everything I could ask for in an ice cream. I love carrot cake so much. <laughs> Next up, we have the strawberry streusel pint. So this is actually something that was in a couple weeks ago and we still had it in the freezer. I just really wanted to include it because it was one of my favorites. So strawberry streusel is strawberry compote swirl with cinnamon streusel crumble in milk ice cream. So this was actually my brother's pint. Shh, don't tell him I'm eating some of it, but it is one of my favorites. I would say it's like if someone took milk ice cream, put a little bit of strawberries in it, and then the flavor of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So strawberry and cinnamon toast crunch had a baby. 
I probably shouldn't finish his pint, but it's so good. So next we have their hojicha and kinako pint. So this is their toasted green tea and roasted soybean powder flavor. So this one is so tasty. Unfortunately, my brother is allergic to the soybean powder. Otherwise, he loves this one too. It's super tasty. It's a super light like tea flavor with just a hint of soy. Have to go in for a second one. Mm. Last but not least for today's haul is going to be their recently came out with last week, Honey Peach. So their Honey Peach flavor is going to be ripe yellow peaches from Arnett Farms. So that is directly from one of the farmer's markets here in the area. And also raw honey from Honey Pacifica and a little bit of black tea. I'm a huge fan of fruit flavored teas, so I'm really excited to try this one. That's nuts. It's like someone put like a honey peach black tea in an ice cream. That is so good. Oh my gosh. I'm regretting not getting two pints of this one now. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Man, am I glad that I ran six miles this morning so I could eat this. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so good. Ah, so mad I didn't get more. Now that all of the ice cream pints are back in the freezer where I can't grab them and eat them all right now, I wanted to tell you about some of the other flavors that they offer uh, that come around whenever it's in season, but they try to you know, bring it back depending on what ingredients they have available. So one of the other ones I've tried is their Thai tea pint is quite good. Um, it is a orange colored tea flavored ice cream. So it's a really bright orange, beautiful color. It tastes so good. Their Mr. Wonderful pint is kind of the delicious cousin of Mr. Universal. It is a house-made chocolate cookie crumb in caramel swirl and milk ice cream instead of a oatmeal cookie. And then we've also had their cookies and cream cheese pint. So that is a Oreo cookie pieces and cream cheese frosting swirl in milk ice cream. And then we've also had my brother's all-time favorite, and he is just hoping and praying and fingers crossed for them to come back into season, is their Ichigo milk pint. So that is with um, Farmer's Market fresh Ichigo strawberries and condensed milk ice cream. So he's a huge fan of anything strawberry and milky, and to him it just tastes like you know candy, and he, he can eat a whole pint in one sitting. One of our other favorites is the Kuro Goma pint. So that is a black sesame ice cream. It is bold earthiness paired with a familiar nuttiness. So being Asian, we do love our Asian-esque flavors and black sesame is a huge household favorite here. Another fan favorite that we have in the household is the Muji Cha pint. So that is their barley tea ice cream. It is a classic Japanese summer drink made into a refreshing, slightly sweet ice cream. So my grandma just took her spoon and just kept eating through this pint. She loved this one so much. It's light, refreshing, and not too sweet. If you're a big fan of dark chocolate, I highly recommend the Black Metal Pint. They actually have a couple of them available right now. Um, don't know if it will be when this video goes up, but that one is a Brazilian dark cocoa. So it's a sophisticated chocolate ice cream. So those are all the extra flavors that they have randomly every week that I've tried. There are so many other different flavors that they've had that I've never even tried and I didn't have a chance to go out and buy it, but it's just cool because every single week they have new flavor options. It's all on their Instagram, all on their social media, so you can go ahead and follow them. I'll leave all the links down below. Um, ooh, I saw one that I, I did have and it was so good. Their Mulberry Cheese Pint. So that one is house-grown and house-made mulberry reduction swirled in milk-based ice cream with little pockets of cream cheese. So I am a sucker for cream cheese frosting and this one was so good. It's just like a little bit of tartness from the mulberry and the cream cheese base. It was a little rich, but it was so tasty. But absolutely, I do recommend going to Concha Creamery in Gardena. I'll leave all their information down below and Definitely take this time during COVID to support your small businesses. I know a lot of places are already closing and I'd hate to see any of these great small businesses go down. So definitely check them out and I hope I can make this a regular series.